anyway, so for this video I thought I would do a how to get your splits, um, not middle splits, although I'll do some stretches for that, it's for front splits or right or left splits, however you want to call it. There's loads of videos on YouTube that are very, very similar to this, however they're all like how to get your splits in one day, how to get your splits in five minutes, all that kind of stuff. There's some that are how to get your splits in 30 days and obviously if you're really lucky and you're really, really um, adamant and really um, persistent and stretching and stuff, you might get them in 30 days and like if you're really flexible anyway then maybe you will. Um, but for normal people that is not possible. You have to stretch consistently for a long time. So this video is going to be stretches that you can do to help you get the splits that are really, really going to help you get flat in them. Um, from no matter like how high or low you are, um, they will help you, they help me anyways, um, so I guess they are proven to work. Uh, I'm someone who is not naturally flexible, I'm probably like in the middle, I wasn't born super stiff but I was definitely not born flexible. When I was about 10 years old I was like, screw it, um, let's start, you know, getting into this, I want to be flexible, I've seen, um, I think I was probably watching dance films about then, maybe a couple of years after that, but I was like seeing one. Um, you know, on telly and like all sorts of stuff like really flexible dancers and I thought why aren't I flexible? Why can't I do that? I need to start stretching so that's what I did um, and now I mean I'm not the most flexible I've ever been in my life at the moment, definitely not. Um, I have been stretching a lot more regularly lately so I'm probably a little bit more than I was um, but I'm definitely not my most flexible at the moment. That was probably when I was in college and I was doing like 50 hours of dance a week and I was stretching like four times a day. So my legs were like boom, boom, like yeah, all over the place. Um, they're definitely not there now, but I'm trying to get better and this video I guess will help me too because it's going to remind myself of all the stretches that help me get split. Um, so I am flat in my right and my left, my middle, I'm very, very close, but uh, as I said, this isn't for middle, it's just for right and left. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to stop rambling, I'm going to crack on I think. I don't know, I might have a few more bits to say, but <laughs> we shall see. We're a shopper. Uh, also, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, as it really, really helps me out. And yeah, going to crack on. So, before you start stretching, you must make sure to do a warm-up. Make sure your body is nice and loose. Now, you can do stretches to help you warm up for your other stretches, because the stretches for your splits are going to be more intense. Um, so you can do some basic stretches and I will show you in a second but make sure you do a little bit of jogging, maybe some star jumps, maybe like, I don't know, just a little bit of cardio just to get your heart racing, to get your sweat going, um, just to, yeah, sort of get yourself a bit warmer and prepared for what's happening. Also, I recommend doing it on like carpet or a soft floor um, or if you've got a hard floor, get a yoga mat or something. I'm not going to bother just because my yoga mat is tucked away somewhere and everything seems to slip on this floor. Um, so I'm just gonna embrace the pain on the knees, <laughs> whatever. Um, yeah, okay, so I'm just gonna do a quick warm up. I'm not gonna film it just because you know what running is and you know what star jumps is and you know. So I've done my uh, cardio and stuff and I'm all warm. Um, I did like some, obviously the star jumps and stuff like activate your leg muscles and that's what you need to do before you start stretching is to activate your leg muscles for sure. Um, so first off, I'm just gonna stretch them out this way um, and then we're gonna go this way and so on. Um, so I'm going to like whiz through some parts and talk through some parts. Um, so hopefully it works and it's all good and it's, it's clear to understand. I'm really out of breath at the moment, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I hate cardio, it makes me so ugh. Um, okay, so I'm just going to do some basic stretches. Also, I'm sorry, I'm going to be pulling my shorts down um, a numerous amount of times throughout this video. Um, I'm pulling my top down because it keeps coming up. Anyway, going to crack on. Um, so even though I'm stretching out my legs, I am going to stretch out my arms and my body because it helps with everything. Obviously, as I mentioned in the video before about stretching, which I'll just link up here, um, or this way, I don't know which way it is, I can't remember. Um, it is really helpful to stretch out your whole body, um, just for your overall mobility and overall flexibility, um, and just day-to-day -day life, it's really helpful. Um, I'm not going to go into that right now, so I'm just going to stretch out everything, and I'll probably whisper this a little bit. Like a kind of ouchy pain, but I don't know how to explain it. I'm trying like 
Thank you for that away while I'm doing this, and if it comes to me, then I'll tell you. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, the goal is to be able to get your face down to your shins. Um, obviously if you can't do that, don't worry, as long as you're feeling a stretch, it will help. <coughs> and again, hold this for 10-15 seconds or whatever your pain threshold. Sorry, excuse me. Whatever your pain threshold can cope with. As you can see, I am terrible at that stretch. Uh, I, it's just one I've never ever been good at, no matter what. Um, I just cannot get flat on that. <laughs> um, it really, really hurts. It should be, you should be able to feel it in sort of your hip area and sort of in your tailbone area. Yeah, that's definitely not stretching good at. Unless I'm super warm, which I'm not currently, um, I can't do it. <laughs> so next, we're gonna. You can either do um, a straddle, a full straddle, so like this, or if you're not comfortable doing that, you can just pop one leg in and do a stretch, and then. So if it's over, uh, it's completely up to you. I am finally back to this. I just had a groin injury where I couldn't do this at all. I couldn't even sit in bath bar or anything. Um, so uh, apologies if uh, my stretches are a little bit weak. Um, yeah, I'm still covering an injury on in my groin. So yeah, stretches aren't as good as they should be. <laughs> um, so for this, we're just gonna shift our weight. This is also really good for um, your what do you call side adductors. I don't know if that's what they're called. Um, but this part of your body is really good for training those. Um, you may not see it, but if you keep doing this, yeah, definitely gonna um, feel it. Anyway, yeah, I wasn't meant to be doing that. Um, so I'm gonna stretch over and then stand on the other side and I'll just whisper it because you'll be able to see what I'm doing. But holding stretch for 10 seconds still, or 15, whatever. Um, yeah. <laughs> Elbows, that is fine. 
just do what you're comfortable with, um, but this makes the stretch um, more. <laughs> I wish that was the case, but 
it's not, you really, really, really have to try with these things um, and keep at it. Um, and I know it's frustrating, especially because, like, even when I was stretching, I was stuck at a point in my splits where I was like, maybe two inches off the ground and I just needed something to help me get past that um, like and then suddenly it like clicked and then I just went down and that was it I had it ever since but if I'd stopped stretching you know I wouldn't have got it and I would never have been able to do this but I didn't I carried on and I got it um, I didn't quit I didn't give up um, so even on the days when I was feeling like this is never gonna happen um, you know I proved myself wrong it did happen even on my left I never ever thought I'd get my left split um, it's still a really really painful Thing. Like my right splits are pretty like easy now, they don't really hurt me or anything. Um, they did on this floor because this floor's bloody hard um, and they hurt my knees and stuff. But yeah, my left splits still really hurt me. Um, as you probably see in my clip, my face is like, oh. So don't give up a bit, just carry on. Um, you know, it might take you a month. It might take you two months. It might take you a year. It, you know, you just, you just have to try with it keep at it uh, there are loads of videos as well on the internet i will link a couple down below that i really really like um that sort of helped me when i was trying to split and like remind me stretches and stuff when i'm feeling a bit like oh they're not looking too good also another tip i'll give you is um so an over split is where you put your leg up or something higher and you create more than 180 degree split you're like one leg is part up, or the front leg is normally up higher than the back leg, you can do it the other way, you should do it both ways. Um, but even if you can't get your hips down to the, the floor, it will help you, um, like, if you can't get your hips down to the floor and over split, um, that's fine, obviously, like, you're not going to be able to if you can't do the splits anyway. But then, go back to doing your normal splits and you'll find you're probably a lot further down. But yeah, that's a really, really good tip, so go for an over split even if you can't do it. Um, and then go back to your normal splits and you'll find that you're going them so much easier. Um, I'm just going to give you some other tips now. I'm going to have to change the camera angle really quick um, how to get used to those two things. Okay, so another really good trick is to do a wall split um, and a door frame split. So I'm going to quickly show you both of them. I don't know how well the door frame split is going to look because this door opens outwards and not inwards. Um, so I might have to do it on a different door frame so the lighting might change and stuff and obviously the um, area that I'm in might change but um, yeah let me quickly go and show you, show you a door split or a wall split sorry um, so all you're going to do is pop yourself up to the wall um, you can obviously start up at it but if you're a beginner I'd say start further away from the wall um, pop your hands onto the ground and then you're going to put your leg up to the wall um, and then try and walk yourself in so that your split is flat um, yeah <laughs> Fifteen seconds, longer if you like. Um, and again, just whatever your pain threshold can cope with. Um, but that's definitely a really, really good one. Um, it also helps with your ponches or your needles, scorpions, that kind of stuff. The next stretch is definitely good for a scorpion, um, which is something I'm actually going to start working on again. So I might do a video on that, like a can I get my scorpion back video or something. Um, but yeah. <laughs> So the next thing is the door split uh, and this is one that helps you with needles and scorpions really really um, like effectively. Um, so you can start with your foot further away, it makes it easier I think, yeah and then bring it in. Um, or if you want you can go for an over split by having your foot further away. So I'm going to go for about a medium away um, I've not done this for a really long time so I don't know how well this is going to go to be honest. Um, we'll give it a go. I think I like doing it a different way to do it. I oh, prefer doing it this way. Um, again, so I'm going to go for an over split, I think, because that wasn't too bad. Um, now the good, a good technique for your back flexibility as well is to get yourself right in the frame and try and keep your back up. Um, so at the start, see how I went out of the frame, like my frame, I mean your frame. Um, and I put it, I put myself in, and God, I could really, really feel that stretch. Um, so I'm going to go for an over split. I'm sorry if the door's sort of in the way, but um, it's the only way I can do it. I can't do it the way. There's not enough room for your leg. Um, this way's a bit easier. So they're all my 
my tips. Obviously, make sure you don't overstretch yourself because then you're going to be screwed the next day. Um, you're probably going to be aching a little bit the next day anyway. Um, try and do some like light stretches afterwards just to sort of cool down a little bit, like some... Um, what is it called? Like child's pose. I'll try and find like a really good cool down video and, stre um, and stretch it down below and link it down below for you. Uh, but yeah, hopefully this helps you get your splits. Um, if you do follow it and stuff, let me know your updates and stuff down below in the comments. Um, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe as it really, really does help me out. Um, yeah, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye!